What's up everybody? I'm IGP and welcome back to Subnautica. Most of you guys know that I'm currently doing a full let's play on Subnautica from start to finish and this video is not going to be a part of that series. So if you meant to be watching that let's play, I will put the link in the description below so you can go directly there. Anyway, I said I wasn't going to be doing many update videos, but every single day tons of you guys keep asking me to do them. Today we are going to be taking a look at the updates to the bacterium and the cure the baby emperor enzymes because we can now interact with them and there's an actual final animation to when you are cured now while it's not in game yet we do have a sneak peek at some animations in regards to the disabling of the gun itself we've all tried it trust us we've all done it we've all cured ourselves using cheats and tried to disable the gun you can't do it in game just yet they haven't even finished the animations for it so don't get your hopes up however if you would like a sneak peek stay tuned we're going to take a look at that later on now since we're at basically the closing of the karar and the cure in the game we're going to take a look at how it progresses but first Let's talk about the Karar, for those who may not be aware of what it is, or may be behind on the changes that have been made to it. As it says on the wiki, the Karar is an alien bacterium discovered by the Precursor race during the exploration of an unknown planet. It seems to have completely taken over planet 4546b. Now this has deviated from the original story, which was that the Precursor race had created the Karar. It is stated in Precursor data that the Karar bacterium has killed over 143 billion individuals over the course of time since its discovery, I'm assuming from the Precursor race, not just when it was originated. I'm not sure that we ever will know the details of how the Karar even started, but as any other bacterium would, I guess we can guess. Their core worlds were quarantined off, and research facilities such as the one on 4546b were created to find the cure. As soon as you are exposed to the planet, you are infected with this bacterium, you will clearly have super gonorrhea, and you need some kind of cure or treatment that modern medicine cannot provide. Now you can actually detect this at the very beginning by making a scanner and scanning yourself. Performing self scan, vital signs normal, detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria, continuing to monitor so it says immediately once you scan yourself that it's detecting the bacterium in your system the scanner itself even says infected it means you're you're doomed but you don't think much on it right it's it's an alien planet you're kind of like well duh there's crap here I've never even heard of I'm probably gonna have something in me and of course at the beginning of your playthrough you're able to scan all the different fauna. You can then scan them again once you have gotten the data bank entry to see if they're infected or not. You can scan them just like you scan yourself. And if you happen to notice any creature that has green glowing cyst eyeballs all over their body, first of all, without even scanning, you could probably assume that they're damn infected. But you can actually scan them and it will say that they're infected as well. Like this one right here, the one with the green gloop all over it. Definitely infected. Super infected, hyper infected. Now, as you progress through the game, you'll go through different stages of the infection, and it's not until you get to the disease research facility that it actually is revealed to you that you are basically turning into that. I mean, you can kind of get the idea that that might happen to you, but you don't actually get the physical reveal until then. Now, it does tell you that you're infected when you try to disable the gun after the sunbeam event. I'll show you that right now. Now here we are in the gun control room. Now, as you can see, the model for the control panel has changed. At least it seems like it. It seems like it stands out a little bit more. You know, like when you're watching a cartoon back in the old days, like let's say Scooby-Doo. If anyone remembers the old Scooby-Doo cartoons, you always could kind of tell which parts of the scene were going to move because it seemed a little bit more lighter and less uh, blurred out than the rest of the drawn scene. You can tell which pieces are going to be animated. That's kind of how I feel with this because it's a lighter texture than the rest of the room and you get what I'm saying. Anyway, let's try to disable it. Control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. And it just sets in like, holy shit, what's going on on this planet? 
scans of available alien data indicate the presence of a second facility elsewhere on the planet. Evidence suggests it is located 800 meters below sea level, approximately one kilometer southwest of this installation. Information recorded to data bank. Now, obviously, they're trying to push you to, to chase the story, to go down the rabbit hole to find the cure, so all of these things will take place. Now, when we scan ourselves, we should get a different description. Performing self-scan. The bacterial infection in your system has progressed. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. So it says further data. Again, probing us to go to the disease research facility, which will tell us a little bit more. So we're going to head there next. Data pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. Performing self-scan. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. It's still very gross. And I actually remember when it was just the cysts and there weren't these crazy bumps all over our hand. You can actually see here when I go in free cam, it's just, oh man, can you imagine? So then you follow the story and you eventually get to the aquarium. So that's where we're gonna head next. Now there have been some changes in regards to the sequence itself, not too many, but you'll notice it. Others came but played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. And instead, I have you. So the things you'll notice in the sequence is that there's a lot more music happening, especially in the later parts of the sequence itself. Uh, the baby emperors now make sounds, which you'll hear as well, which is unbelievably cute. You know, you, you felt like you couldn't add any more cuteness to those guys, but you can. And then, of course, the cure, when they drop it, is now interactable, and we'll see that in a second. I should be able to hear their sounds. Oh my god. <laughs> that is unbelievable. It actually sounds like the, the Emperor, too. The sounds we used to hear and the one it makes when it comes up to us at the very top, it's just a higher pitch or a higher octave, like a baby version of it. It's awesome. Listen to that music. My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. Perhaps next we meet, I will be an ocean current. I will carry seeds to new lands, or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell, friend. Still so sad. And if you listen very carefully to the music, let's get close. I think it triggers when I get close. Maybe? <laughs> Goosebumps, man. That is unbelievable. You can hear her say farewell friend just kind of echoing as soon as- I think it's when you approach. It seems to happen every time I approach the enzyme. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my HUD so we can see our hands better. And let's take a look at the animation when we cure the Karar out of our system. And there you have it. No more cysts. 
In fact, if we scan ourselves, it should say... Performing self-scan. Vital signs normal. No remaining sign of bacterial infection. Fantastic. So we are cured. Obviously, there's no sound. It seemed to interact with the player strangely enough to where the player was trying to rub it off. I'm not sure if the player is kind of just completely oblivious to the goal and what we already know about the enzymes. But for some reason, they really didn't want it on his hands. <laughs> Still a work in progress, but it's really good. For those who are unstable, you know you can't interact with the enzymes, but now you can get a look. If you're playing in experimental, you most certainly can. And it does actually cure you. Now, the bad thing is, if you actually go out through the teleporter, you get infected again. And I'm not sure why. So I'm actually going to teleport right to the gun control room. So that way I can show people without a doubt that after I cure myself and it says normal, that if we try to disable it, it won't do anything. Because there's a lot of people who will say, oh, well, it said you were infected and then you had to cure yourself through cheats. Maybe if you do it this way. I'm not making a whole nother episode on that, okay? You'll see it right here. So here's the facility. Let me make sure it worked. We are normal. Let's try and disable it. And there you have it. We are still cured from it, and it does not work. So there's your answer. So that's the whole series of events leading up to the point of disabling it. Now, in the final game, when you actually cure yourself, going back here will deactivate it, and then you can move forward with building the thing you need to build to take off into outer space and then win the game. So let me show you what that looks like. There's actually a video that one of the devs have posted some time ago and some images from the Trello page that you guys can have access to. So here's the video from the Unity interface. It has no sound, as most of these don't, but it will give you a good idea of what to expect when the animation and the disabling actually is in-game. So the control terminal seems to have a energy core. It's actually the part of the gun that you can scan, I believe. But it seems to kind of disconnect, if anything, as if that core is the connection between the two in order for it to be on, like an on-off switch for a circuit. The middle column raises up and the core kind of lowers. And I'm not sure what we can actually do after that. If this is just it, after the animation is done, then it's disabled, or is there another step? Is there something we have to put in there? Is there something we have to take out? And the rest of the video is showing the details. In fact, it's kind of, it hurts my head to try to wrap my brain around this. Like all the details of the scene and how they're actually animated in the scene. I get, I'm not familiar with game dev in that depth, but. And here's a detail picture of what will happen as well to accompany that. And here it'll say that the lights around the platform will turn off and the rest of the lights in the gun turn off as well. So. Once you disable it, it's going to be dark, and you have to leave. So it's kind of leave this dreary, hopeful, but still dreary and eerie feeling. Super creepy. So there you have it. There are some of the latest updates to the end game, one step further and closer to the end. If you guys were to look on the Trello page, you can see that the rocket stuff is well underway. That that is the next step for them. In fact, it says the next update is for the rocket. It doesn't actually say that it's a polish update. It's very strangely worded and I wouldn't take it with anything but a grain of salt. But certainly interesting, you can browse through all of that. Lots of interesting reads. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see in the following episodes. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to keep up to date with all my latest videos. Now this is one of probably a few that I'm going to do until the game is released, depending on the content. But if you wanna keep up to date on all the tiny changes, there are a bunch of channels that are still doing it and I will put them all in the description below. I suggest you check them out, subscribe if you enjoy their content. That way you can keep up to date with Subnautica and you don't have to do much research yourself. And stay tuned for the continuation for our current Let's Play. Having a lot of fun. It's actually Actually incredible to be playing the game for real instead of doing all of these update videos. So take a look at that. If you haven't seen it, I'll put the link in the description below. Like I said, you can start from the beginning. It's a fun playthrough. So thanks again for watching, guys. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!